Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Today I'd like to show you my technique for using heavily patterned papers. Now, these are often absolutely beautiful, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to know what to do when you've got a heavily patterned paper because what can you put on top that's not going to be drowned out by the background? So I'm going to show you three different ways that I very often use patterned papers and I'm going to be using the brand new Dovecraft Naughty or Nice papers. They're absolutely beautiful. They've got a lovely almost vintage colour tone to them and um, some beautiful imagery. I've also got a huge array of products here that also comes in a uh, Craft Sash VIP bundle. So if, if you're a VIP, you can take advantage of this bundle right now. Um, over on Craft Stash. All the links are down below for you. Uh, if you're not, then keep an eye on the website for any of these items individually instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of origami because this is a really, really simple origami, but I think it's one that absolutely anyone can do and it just creates really quick and fantastic Christmas cards using these Christmassy papers when they've got a lot of pattern. Because essentially what we want to do is try to limit the pattern a little bit more um, just so that it's not so sort of in your face. Um, and I'm going to do an origami Christmas tree. Now I've already done uh, four elements of this. You'll see how in a moment, but I'm, I've saved the biggest uh, section till last. So I'm going to take one of my pattern papers and I'm going to cut it down to a five inch by five inch square. So you can definitely be using your paper scraps for this if you've got those. So what you're going to want is a five by five inch square, a four by four, a three by three, and a two by two and uh, you're going to treat them all exactly the same. Now I would definitely suggest mixing your pattern papers here using different ones for this so you can mix them all up and have really funky cards. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to fold this in half, um, doesn't matter which way you fold it. You're not really going to see the pattern too much so if there's a right way don't stress too much about having it the right way. Um, but then we're going to fold these diagonally as well. So one fold across and then two diagonal folds. So you're folding each of these squares uh, three times. So a five inch, a four inch, a three inch and a two inch square. Okay, so what you've then got is one fold across and the cross as well. So you're going to fold it sort of in half there and then you're just going to want to push these two straight folds in and you'll notice there's a triangle on the front there we go and there's a triangle on the back and as you push that folded line down you'll get that lovely triangle shape like so nice and easy now what we're going to do let me just show you the underneath so that's what you're looking at underneath you're just going to bring each of the top corners so there's two layers to the corners now you're going to bring each one in and fold it in half to bring the point down so you folded it along that center line there the same with this side and this is the base for your Christmas tree now like I say you want to do it with a four inch providing a slightly smaller triangle a three inch that slots on top and then also a two inch that fits on top of there now when you put these pattern papers against a lovely bright white background and we'll glue those all down that's the effect that you're going to get so you can see how now those colors really really pop so you're going to want to glue these into each other just tucking each one in depending on your card size you might want to push them all quite close together and have a shorter tree or you can lift them out ever so slightly and have a taller tree just to fit your composition a little bit better so once I've glued those down, I'm also going to take some other elements from the kit. So I will take a nice red bow to go on top of my tree. And I'll also take a sentiment, now probably, probably one of these because this is really lovely. Um, so these are the sentiment toppers and pop one of these on here as well. Now I'll show you all the finished cards at the end, so stay tuned for that. But the next thing I want to do is show you how I like to use pattern papers as a background. Now, I still want to see the beautiful pattern. I think it's fantastic imagery on this paper, but it's a little bit too much for a whole panel. 
So what I tend to do there is use vellum or parchment. So I'm just going to trim this down. At the minute this is ever so slightly longer than my panel um, because I want to fold it over the top and bottom. But I'm going to trim it down a little as well so that it's not quite as wide because I'd like to see some of the pattern coming through but not all of it. So let's just take it down to about two thirds of the width. place that over there so you can see that's kind of just toned down that center strip there now I'm going to fold over a lip at the top here apply a bit of glue just under there so that I can secure it to the back of my uh, pattern paper just fold that under there and this can be the central I'm going to do it central purely because I've got that lovely row of tags going down the middle but you could also do it off to one side as well there we go and then I'm going to fold that over keep everything nice and taut and just fold the vellum or the parchment back over again making sure that the card will lay flat now here with another piece of this pattern paper I can cut out um, another one of these so maybe I'll just use we've actually got elves in the background there but I've got one here that says a little something on there so I think I'm going to cut this out place that over the top of one of these tags on foam tape a little bit of twine coming from it and a sentiment and that's another really quick card done using a heavily patterned paper lastly if I've used any small bit of pattern paper within a card I love to decorate the envelope and it's a great way of using up that heavily patterned paper again um, but uh, definitely it's on the show but it's hidden so it's kind of best of both worlds um, so for this I'm going to use this gorgeous blue snowflake paper I'm going to line the inside of my envelope now what you want to do is turn your pattern paper over and place the lip of your envelope just on your uh, cardstock there on the back now my envelope is larger than my cardstock so I'll have a a nice border around the edge so just making sure this is kind of central then I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just going to lightly draw around the edge there then I'm also going to fold this down and draw myself a pencil line there too so what this pencil line is is where I'm going to fold it so that the color runs all the way down the inside of the envelope um, and this just need to cut on the inside now you can measure this if you like but I'm usually quite happy to do this by hand and just cut around the inside of this line here because you want to make sure that the sticky area the bit that you lick and stick is free so there we go I'm just going to then fold this along that pencil line in fact it's easier if you fold it uh, this way there we go so you can see where we're folding just like so and then fold it back again as well so both ways so it's nice and flexible and then just make sure that you're happy with that shape which I am and just mark the bottom of the envelope as well you can cut this with either your trimmer or your scissors we go for a trimmer it's a nice straight line here there we go so this strip if you wish you could put that onto the front of your envelope that would just make it even more coordinating and as you can see you can pop this inside and that's going to sit really nicely in there so a little bit of glue now in just a moment I'm just going to show you those other two finished cards along with of course uh, this lovely coordinating envelope I'll just glue that up there so let's take a look at the cards that we make and don't forget of course to subscribe to our craft stash youtube channel if you haven't already and do check out these other videos too because we think they might be of interest to you so don't forget craft stash have their best price guarantee and of course if you're a vip you can take advantage of this amazing offer on this bundle